Okay, so let's say you're trying to buy a phone and uh, you have like multiple choices. So you're buying a phone, just like in our presentation, uh, let's say you have a, you can buy iPhone, iPhone 13, iPhone 14, iPhone 14 Pro, whatever. Uh, you have seen that there is a price benchmark somewhere like for example for iPhone right here is $429 and $599, $799, $999. Which phone is right for you? When you're trying to decide what is like out of these four models of the phone, which one is for me? That's for you to decide. Uh, this principle is actually known as Goldilocks principle. And, and this principle is widely used in economics so when, and, and when they're setting the strategies of different things. Same thing, uh, uh, so, so it's everywhere. Uh, so this, this, this principle allows you to know what is the right amount. What, when you're trying to buy something, what is the right amount? It was actually based on a story, uh, The Three Bears, where our girls walk into a log and 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 of 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 three bears where they used to live and she started tasting the bowls soup bowls for every one of them one was too hot one was uh one was too cold and then one was in the middle so which one is the right amount uh so so this principle actually occurs everywhere and this is what these companies do when they're trying to sell you something that they offer you same thing like in this in our scenario is phone but like with different added features so so it's sort of it's it's a way to confuse you as well and it's a way like sometimes you get confused sometimes you just think okay it's only two hundred dollars but i'll get this much so so this is the strategy that these uh, these these company use to attract you to to, to buy different things like for example you go and buy a 50 inch tv or something like that you can add hundred dollars and you can get 60 inch tv but do you actually really need that what is the proper way what is the right amount uh, so that's the idea in machine learning as well uh, like for example what is the learning rate of an algorithm uh, i, I want to take a fewer steps but at the same time uh, my algorithm must be optimized as well uh, also when you're trying to read a book when you're trying to read a book you want to read the book you want to read the minimum minimum amount of pages while getting uh, while you can get extract or novel information from that book or whatever the article that you're trying to read uh, this principle is known as Goldilocks principle and, and, and this creeps up everywhere in our daily life as well so I thought it's quite interesting. I hope you like the video.